Terry, a motivational speaker, is addressing a crowd when suddenly his hand begins to act on its own, striking him. The 118 team rushes to the scene. Hen explains that Terry might be experiencing alien hand syndrome due to a neurological condition. She suggests that a clot from his heart could have traveled to his brain, causing the erratic behavior. As they attempt to assist, Terry's hand violently lashes out at the crew. Hen and Karen face disappointment when they learn they cannot adopt the little girl they hoped for because her mother changed her mind. However, Deidre informs them of another child, a nine-year-old girl from a group home who needs a family. Hen and Karen agree to take her in. Buck and Tommy are on a date, but Buck is struggling with being on a date with him. But Tommy gives him reassurance that no one cares. Eddie comes by with his girlfriend and Buck makes excuses for why he is out with Tommy. Tommy tells Buck he doesn't think Buck is ready to come out. Hen and Karen meet the little girl, Mara, as Deidre drops her off to them. Mara is cautious, but Denny gives Mara a teddy bear, which she picks up and takes with her as well as her favorite blanket. Buck confides in Maddie about his date without revealing it was with Tommy. However, he accidentally slips up on a pronoun, prompting Maddie to probe deeper. She tries to offer reassurance but remains cautious. Karen tucks Mara into bed and sees the teddy rip to pieces, and then Mara comes into their room in the middle of the night, staring at them. Hen tries to comfort her, but then Mara starts screaming. Buck heads to the 118 and sees Eddie working out and tries talking with Eddie about Tommy but then chickens out. Hen shares with Bobby the challenges they're facing with Mara. The situation escalates when Hen receives a photo of Denny who needed stitches after Mara threw a coffee mug at him. Concerned, Hen and Karen contact Deidre to discuss their apprehensions about continuing to foster Mara. Hen and Chim head to help a firefighter who was attacked by a dog while trying to rescue the dog from a fire. The owner says she locked the dog in that room to keep the dog safe since it was used as a fighting dog by the previous owner and kept getting out. Hen feels empathetic toward the dog and tries rescuing the dog, and the dog finally comes too. Hen then has second thoughts about sending Mara back. Hen asks Athena to look up the history of Mara. Athena tells her that Mara's parents were horrible individuals and died by opioids. Maddie gives Hen and Karen a voice recording of Mara, calling 911 to help her parents when they overdosed. Hen realizes that Mara was making sure they were okay when she walked into their room in the middle of the night. Eddie visits Buck, who confides about his date with Tommy. Eddie offers reassurance, affirming their friendship and encouraging Buck not to give up on his relationship with Tommy. Karen visits Mara's room to assure her of her safety in their home and installs a monitor so Mara can see that Hen and Karen are safe. This gesture prompts Mara to speak to them for the first time. Buck meets up with Tommy with two coffees. Buck apologizes for how he acted and then asks Tommy to be his date at his sister's wedding, and Tommy agrees. Buck and Eddie come to the wedding hungover and tell Maddie that they don't know where Chimney is. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of our newest videos.